All right, welcome to a Saturday, beautiful day today. Again, we've had a run of weather that's going to continue this way. I was out in the marina yesterday riding bikes. It was probably 73 degrees out there in the marina green. Beautiful, glassy out on the bay. The winds died down in the afternoon. And you're going, hey, what's this picture about? It's funny. There's a story here. So do you remember that, you know, if you've ever been down in the marina green, you've seen the pull-up bars in that gravel area. It's kind of like one of those old 60s workout kind of things. So back in the day when I was in graduate school or postgraduate studies in, in San Francisco, I didn't have any money and I lived in my van, which was awesome, actually. It sounds homeless and everything, but it wasn't bad. I lived in the van and I was able to, I surfed a lot. I went to classes, la di la. But anyway, I couldn't afford a gym or anything. And so I would come down here to this pull-up bar for a good five years and just, I was like, a, I was kind of like a homeless pull up bar guy, you know, everybody, I knew everybody down there and the, cause I'd be there every night at the same time. So anyway, I went out the other day and my lovely wife agreed to take this video and I do some pull ups and I, it's kind of lame and self-serving, but I probably haven't done a pull up on this bar since, oh heck, 1990. And I think I get in 10 okay ones here. It gets, it gets weak here. I could, I can do 20. I swear. I just was, I was kind of nervous, I guess. But watch the chin here. The chin doesn't, yeah, that's a good one. This last one's weak. Look at that. Ugh. But anyway, I got a kick out of that. I'm not, not really bragging that I can do 10 pull-ups because that's not, shouldn't even be a brag. But it's just such a cathartic thing to go from there to here. And it's a beautiful thing. But anyway, it's, it brings back a lot of nice memories and really a very positive time in my life, even though it doesn't sound like it was. Okay, so back to the National Weather Service map. I'm on the website. I hope you glean some of this information. I mean, I want you to go to these websites. That's kind of why I'm doing this. I want you to go, oh, that's where I can find what the winds are doing, what the temperatures are doing. So these, again, these are surface plots. We showed them yesterday when it was windy. Last couple of days I've showed it. And you see, you can go all the way out. It's basically the entire United States. And from these plots, you can tell a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I, I just dipped into yesterday. I dipped into the idea that the line going into the, the dot is the direction of the wind, right? So that big long line, if you can see right here, that's the direction of the wind. I think you can see that finger. So the wind in this case is coming from the west, southwest. This wind is coming from the northwest. This wind is coming from the north, northwest. This wind is coming from the south. Okay. And how fast is it blowing? Well, the red number represents 13 miles per hour or 13 knot gusts. Those are the gusts. That's the peak. And then the sustained wind is that's a half a barb, that little flag at the end. That's only five knots. If you go here at that longer one, that's 10 knots. And if you go, let's see if I got a big wind anywhere. Cause and then if you, I think you saw this yesterday, you'll see, I don't think I have enough wind. It's really light winds today. Oh, here we go. We can pick this up in Nevada. See that one long one, one short one? That's 15 knots. So you can get a lot from these barbs, wind direction, gusts, and speed. You know what else you can get? Right off the bat, you can get temperature. It's a nice day today. Temperature in, in the Vallejo area, 66 degrees, 70 degrees up near Nevada. 63 in San Rafael. That seems a little light, but maybe it is. Point Reyes is 60 degrees, 70 and Concord. So you don't need your damn phone. You can go right to the website, National Weather Service out of Monterey, and you can get this. This is a visible satellite image. Love it. Why? Because it's awesome, but also because it shows the snow, which is so important to the state, as you know. I mean, that's it. That's our savings account, right? The surface reservoirs are our checking account that we can kind of keep it a, you know, it moves around a lot. The, the 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 savings account needs to be firm and solid at the end of every year so that water trickle trickles into the aquifers, so on and so forth. So I love seeing that. makes me happy. Uh, and then a little bit of fog, right? Look at that. A little bit of fog up at uh, kind of there's Point Conception. Yeah, a little fogged up towards, I guess that's Point Arena, not Point Arena. Is that Point Arena? Point Conception or Point Kip Mendocino, pardon me. There's Point Arena here. It's more like looks more like Mendes, uh, Fort Bragg area, but, and then a little fog off our coast here. Look at that. So this map is money. If you're going, I want to go to the beach, but I don't know what it's going to be like this map. This is just Caltrans. They offer this up and you got, they got hundreds of cameras. This is the I-80 at Kingville right now. How awesome is that? I mean, 
I, in the old days, I, I think I told you this before, I used to have to get on the phone and dial people to go, hey, what's it like at Kingville right now? Is the road open? I mean, it's there's cameras everywhere. It's awesome. Uh, what else I got for you? Oh, we're going to look at the winds. We talked about winds yesterday. There were windy. And these lines, these isobars, were closer together. Well, look how far apart they are today. When I say far apart, let me get my little arrows. See, oh, that gets a little close up there. But you see how it's kind of just there's lollygagging? The next few days, not much wind and mild to warm temperatures. Mild to warm, like mid 70s, right through midweek. And then watch what happens. I go way down the line. They start to tighten up right there. See how they get organized? That's a low. That's the pressure grain. The lows coming in, the high still here. You see those lines representing the differences in pressure as the um, system gets closer. This low and this high. So the winds are going to start to blow from the low to the high. And how windy does it get? I don't know. This one. This is a long range. Not very. Not very. And then there's a couple systems kind of come through. This is our best bet. That's next Sunday. So we'll see. But again, this is all stuff you can have. This is Pat McCormick who was kind of the dude, he was the weather guy before I got there. He wasn't a meteorologist. He was a puppet guy, super beloved. Like, I think, I think the story I got was years ago, Whoopi Goldberg came to the station. She grew up in the Bay area or I, I don't know if it was Berkeley or not. I think it was, but she grew up with this guy and she at that time was huge. And she was so enamored that she got to meet Pat. I think a lot of people are, especially if you grew up in the Bay area in the late fifties, sixties, seventies, and even the, even the mid eighties, I knew him. I was lucky enough to know him because they let me do weekends back when I started. So I would come in and hang out with him. And he was like old school TV, man. I mean, he had like puppets and he, I mean, he was, they were talent. They, that's, I think I said this before in the old days when they, they call us talent now, they go, oh, cute talent. We're not talented. Back then these guys were talented. They were entertainers. People on TV generally were entertainers. They weren't news people. That, that all changed only in the last 30 years or 40 years or so, or maybe 50 years, but you get the idea. So anyway, he's, he's pretty special. One last check of Ocean Beach. That's a lot for you to take in. So one thing I want you to do is look at these maps. Think about the ones you can utilize in your own life. Appreciate you watching. Love it if you'd subscribe. I know it's sometimes they're long, sometimes they're not, but I like talking to you guys just because it's like, I don't know, it feels kind of good. Um, there's the beach right now. Swell's still six to eight feet. Coming down, winds are a little mellower. The surf line cam, you can go to it. Like I said, you can go anywhere in the world with this thing. Any beach you want to see right now live. It's awesome. So check that out. Uh, what else do I got for you? I think that's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got. So I'll see you back here maybe tomorrow. I don't know if there's going to be enough stuff to talk about, but if there is, I'll be back here tomorrow.